Hey, thanks so much for coming back to Jake's Face Reacts. I, I truly appreciate it. Um, I know that I, I, I've, you know, I've had a rough time. Um, and uh, I'm going to make a separate post about that. But yeah, I just appreciate you guys continuing to hang in there with me. So this is oh, the last country that didn't qualify for Eurovision 2017, the grand final. This is the country of Georgia. Now, you know, this last name is really going to get me. So I hope you enjoy me trying to pronounce this. This is... Tamara Ogakichilatse. No idea if I said that right. The song is called Keep the Faith. She wrote all the lyrics. That's cool. She didn't write the music, but that's all right. Um, and this was, yeah, like I said, the last song that didn't quite make the cut for the grand final. That has to hurt. So um, I'm going to see because I don't think I've heard this one all the way through. So let's go, Georgia. <laughs> Um, Georgia, uh, what? Like, okay, it went second, so in the semifinal. I really hope that that's not the only reason why this didn't qualify. Um, all right, let's start with the positives. Her vocals were, like, uh, so powerful. I mean, and she had such control over them. Um, okay, the song itself to me, I mean, it sounded a little kind of like a like James Bondish, but with a serious message and I like the message because I think that it was important um but I'm not sure in three minutes that you can really bring a song that's kind of James Bondish but has a super serious like social and political message um 
and connect, you know, to viewers from all over the world who really are, you know, seeing this second performance of the semifinal. Um, I feel like I've seen her before. Has she been in Eurovision before? Let me know in the comments because I remember her face looks super familiar. Her voice for sure sounds familiar, but I listened to so many of these that I, I could be completely wrong. Um, I loved, I do feel like the staging was a, was good. I felt like the red was, I mean, I, I get it. Like it was a theme and it was strong, but, um, it, it was a lot of red, like a lot. Um, the performance, I mean, again, it was just her, um, which was fine. Like she captivated that stage. She owned the stage. She didn't need anybody else out there with her, um, but I, I, I feel like this was going to be another one that probably didn't qualify because of how early it went, which I hate that. Um, but the, the song to me, there were too many minor key parts in it. Um, just for me, like, that's, you know, just not my cup of tea, but it might be other people, so it's okay. But she was a phenomenal vocalist, and I swear I've heard her before. I don't think I've tried to say that last name before, but I've heard her her voice before. Maybe she's competed before. I'm not sure. Okay, so um, the next time that you guys see me back here, we'll be starting to count down the actual Eurovision 2017 performances from the grand final in order from the country that came in last in the grand finals, I mean, um, all the way through the country that came in first. Uh, and it's been so, I've seen so many other years between then and now that it, it really is going to be fun to sort of see some of these again um, for the first time in a very long time. So I appreciate um, uh, your support so much and uh, I will see you guys back for the next reaction video. Peace.